Previously, I showed you how to solve the problem using HTTPS. I haven't forgotten, so don't think I forgot to show you the other way. So uh, the another solution is, let me run the app again. Okay. So if you do not want to use it, you should always use HTTPS anyway, because it's a more secured connection. If you don't want to use that for whatever reason, you can see Apple has already told you the problem here. App Transport Security has blocked. So you need to add a configuration. So let's go here, click on the project, or just simply go to info.playlist. You want to add a new key. So click on the plus at the bottom here, and then scroll up the list. You will see the one that says App Transport Security Settings. Apple automatically blocks any HTTP because it's not secured, but you need to uh, provide an exemption. So click on the arrow to expand it, and then click on the plus again. Now you want to select the one that says allow arbitrary loads and set it to yes. So that means you want to allow the HTTP link to run. So let's run our app again and uh, see this time if we're going to get, as you can see, there's no more error. If we go back to Eroco and refresh, let me go back to home and then click on the database. We can see now that we have two records. It's going to have the same information because we haven't changed the code. So now we have two records. Let's go back to Xcode and change that. So I'm gonna change, I'm going to go to view controller. So instead of DODs, I'm gonna put James Brown 24. I'm going to run that. Command R so I can save it and I'm going to do it another time. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna say Mary Jane 52. Let's run that one last time. And then we can go back to we can go to the and then refresh. Okay, so now we have four records. We have James Brown, 24 years old, and then we have Mary Jane, 52 years old. So now we have data in our database. So that's how you write a basic code to push just the simple information to the database. And like I said before, congratulations, you're now able to write a simple pass code. Thank you.